Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Sam or Shaws, and today I'm bringing you guys a team deathmatch game on the map array, and uh, quite a few things I want to get to today. Uh, most of which are gameplay related, um, but I want to start off this video by briefly uh, bringing up the point that a lot of people have been uh, leaving comments on my videos uh, recently, saying that uh, I talk a little bit too fast and that sometimes my commentary seems scripted. And I think I talked about this once before, but I want to elaborate on it right now. Uh, the reason why I uh, have really sort of elaborate commentary, not elaborate commentaries, that's probably a really poor uh, choice of a word to use, um, but the reason why my commentaries sometimes do sound really scripted is because I try to give my commentaries sort of a professional sound to them at the very least I like to um, you know record the takes over and over and over and try and get it to sound as professional as possible if that makes sense to you guys so very 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 rarely do I actually get the you know commentary done on the first take and I know a lot a lot of commentators who never even bother to do second takes and uh, a lot of people seem to actually be giving me you know more or less negative or at least not positive feedback on um, the fact that you know I talked really really fast and never took a breath or anything like that uh, so I thought I would try doing commentaries always in one take so so far just in this sentence alone or just in this little introduction I've counted three times that I would have already restarted the commentary for little mistakes that I made but I'm just gonna go with it anyway and you guys can let me know what you think and if the commentary was terrible because I didn't restart it and didn't try and uh, make it better or if it was alright or whatever just give me some feedback because honestly I, I do care about that kind of stuff and I do read my comments so uh, anyway um, the thing that I want to talk about with gameplay today the thing I want to start talking about with gameplay I guess I should say uh, because this is probably going to be a reoccurring uh, topic in a lot of my commentaries is sort of getting out of my comfort zone and this is the first game I tried to do that today and basically um, I'm going to start trying to I'm going to start to try to mix up uh, there I go again one of the, you know the little stuttering moments where I would have restarted the commentary but whatever um, I'm going to start trying to switch up the perks attachments and guns that I use to things that I normally wouldn't use and one good example is today for the very first time ever on this game I believe the very first time ever I bought the perk warlord and uh, I'm not really too fond of warlord because of the fact that warlord isn't sleight of hand pro that's pretty much it I mean I love the whole concept of warlord I you know when I heard about the perk bling from modern warfare 2 I was like oh my god you know finally they're gonna allow me to have two attachments that's gonna be nuts but then when they integrated sleight of hand pro I'm like or just regular no it was sleight of hand pro back in um, uh, black ops I'm pretty sure um, when you know you had that faster aim down sight man like there was no way I was gonna give that up I mean uh, I just kinda stuck to what I was comfortable with and that's one thing that like I just said I'm gonna try and do less and less and try and you know go outside again my comfort zone again I'm repeating myself here I apologize I, I feel really terrible right now for not restarting the commentary I gotta stop even talking about that so anyway uh, today what I'm using is the commando with the silencer and dual mag and I used this because I saw Wings of Redemption use this a while ago and it seemed like he was having a lot of success with it um, with Warlord obviously because of the fact that I'm not gonna have that uh, decreased aim down sight time and because I'm going to be more vulnerable um, all the time when I can't reload um, you know should I yeah, or because I don't have sight of hand pro I decide to play a little bit more defensively or I sort of have to play I don't decide to if I want to have any sort of success I'm going to have to slow down uh, my game play and not you know move as fast so you are going to notice that I do um, I, I am a little bit more cautious when I move around the map and I'm not as quick to run out like right there I would have had a really fast reload if I had sleight of hand and I would have jumped right around this corner on the uh, car I would have like literally like jumped to the left of it and tried to like do a drop shot or dolphin dive or something and you know kill the guy uh, but because I had warlord on I had to sort of take things slow take cover behind the car finish my reload and hip fire them and all that good stuff uh, this is another good example of when you know because I have to keep you know uh, bringing my sight uh, down and back up uh, that I have to take my time to kill this person and it actually takes me quite a while to just get this guy uh, dead or get him killed whatever uh, so anyway that's one thing that I've been working on another thing you might have noticed this gameplay uh, I didn't use the chopper gun I went for the gunship don't really know why I did that uh, gunship almost never has a higher reward um, maybe on maps like summit it works really well I'd say summit is one of my least favorite maps as far as air sport goes because of the fact that 
just with chopper gunners you fly it seems like you're flying so low I don't know if anybody experiences this as well but I just never feel comfortable in a chopper gunner on summit it seems like I'm just on the sides of the map constantly and there's all the buildings and towards the middle of the map and it just doesn't make for a good time I'm gonna speed up this chopper gunner right here I'm actually recording while watching this in theater mode while actually recording the gameplay so a little different there there we go Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's another thing. I tried out the gunship and I uh, got shot down there, unfortunately, but you know, that's what you're going to run into a lot more in Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, I tried decoys out. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner, I got decoys. I don't even know if I throw them at all in this game. Use them, maybe I use them once or twice. Um, I got to learn to use them effectively. I found that I use them counterproductively, counterintuitively. I can't think of you know exactly how I want to say it. Um, but what I'll do a lot of the times since I've been using uh, decoy, which has been about five or six games now. I recorded this. This was my first game of the day, um, so it went pretty well. Um, but I what I do with decoys is I throw them into a room like a stun grenade, and it just like alerts the enemy like hey somebody's gonna be coming around this corner soon like I'll throw us I'll throw the decoy and then I'll run into the room and I do it's just like one of the dumbest things I could possibly do and I try to you know I have to try to get out of that habit if I'm gonna try and use the decoy effectively but I just don't know how effective that really is because I know for me and probably most of you guys because I think that most of my uh, subscribers are above average players um, most of you guys probably know you know what a decoy is and what isn't a decoy you know when you know it's clearly not a real person around a corner or something like that but I don't know about the average player I don't know about these guys in the game the guys I play against whether or not uh, they get fooled by decoys or not it's just something that I can't really no, because a if you ask your friend, you know, hey, do you get fooled by decoys? He's obviously gonna say, no, I never get fooled by decoys, man. Um, but anyway, um, moving on. Uh, that's the end of the game. Final score: 36 and five. A terrible commentary. Terrible, terrible, terrible commentary. I feel horrific about it. But I promised myself that I would do this on the first take and uh, give it to you guys. So go ahead, hate away. Sip that haterade.